Hi, I'm Martin, this is Not Enough Zach. Now, this video is quite hard because I have to give you a recommendation of something that is, uh, well, boring of nature. We're talking about hoovering or vacuuming. This is Xiaomi One S Robotic Vacuum Cleaner. And let me put it this way, it's quite brilliant. However, it comes with a very big nemesis and I'll talk about it in a moment. Hoovering or vacuuming isn't the most passionate thing on your to-do list. So to no surprise, uh, automatic hoovers start to pop out uh, left, right and center. And up until now I was quite hesitant to test one because uh, I've got a vacuum, it doesn't take that long to do all the chores yourself. However, after getting this uh, through Banggood, and uh, thanks so much for Banggood for sponsoring this, uh, I decided to give it a go and, to be frank, I'm impressed. Now, this particular Hoover links to Mi Home ecosystem, which means if you have a Mi Home hub and if you have other stuff from Mi Home, you'll be able to interact with each other, which is brilliant. Now, Hoover uh, is equipped with several sensors. There is a LiDAR, which shoots the lasers around to create a projection of your rooms. There is obviously a bumper in front, which prevents the Hoover from bumping into stuff. And there is a couple of sensors as well, uh, one of them. Uh, there are four sensors at the um, bottom of the Hoover, which uh, protects the Hoover from sliding down the stairs. And there is a sensor on this side, uh, that detects an obstacle and allows the Hoover to go around objects. In addition to this, the Hoover comes with speakers because it's able to speak to you in multiple languages or voices and it has a pad for uh, charging because it will go and dock itself when it's fully charged. So also it has this one. I don't know which sensor is that. That looks like a camera, but I don't think it's a camera. Hmm, never mind. I'm done with the introduction, so let's go and vacuum some carpets. And uh, by vacuuming carpets, I mean I gotta plant this on the carpet and chill for the next 40 minutes, so see you around. As you can see, the Hoover does a pretty impressive job in terms of cleaning performance. It will be able to uh, remove hair, some dust and smaller uh, elements from the floor. However, if this is a, a wet dirt, uh, unfortunately you'll have to use uh, the traditional elbow grease to get rid of that. I'd recommend you to run the Hoover once a week and that tray is capable of storing up to, I'd say about 120 meters of carpet cleaning worth of dust before you have to go and manually empty it. When you perform your first clean, the Hoover will scan the area around you, creating rooms. Those rooms will be automatically created, but you can adjust the size of the room and rename it later. And note that you first have to complete the uh, clean uh, job entirely. 
Now the Hoover has four different settings, so you will be able to choose from a quiet option to turbo, which means a performance mode. Now because it's a Mi Home device, you can integrate it with uh, different routines, so you can link the Hoover to your uh, lamps, you can link the, link the Hoover to buttons and set the schedules. The Hoover should let you clean up to 100 square meters per charge with a speed of 1 square meter per minute on average. This is obviously going to depend on how complicated is your environment and how difficult it is to navigate. I was actually really curious how the Hoover would navigate around the house, uh, bypassing different obstacles, going under tables and navigating around the piano legs. Now I also have a staircase so I give it a go and test it whether the Hoover would tumble down the stairs uh, to its certain death or would protect itself from actually rolling down the staircase. It didn't drop! Yes! Since the staircase has been passed, let's talk about the biggest nemesis of Xiaomi One S. Mirrors. Now, that was a brilliant situation when I actually let the Hoover scan everything and create a room automatically. But after a while, I've noticed that the Hoover actually struggled in my hall. It wasn't so much a struggle, but it started to create a virtual room in a place where there was no room whatsoever. It took me a short while to figure out what was going on because I completely forgot there is a long-standing mirror in the hallway. Turns out, as Hoover passes near the mirror, the lasers bounced against the mirror, recreating a second room just uh, on the other side of the mirror. And to make things even more funny, the Hoover then proceeds to access this virtual uh, room because in its beliefs, well, there is another room behind that uh, mirror itself, so uh, you ended up in a situation in like a Narnia story when you have a wardrobe and a secret room just behind it. Thankfully, the app comes with uh, certain features that you can use to restrict uh, uh, Hoover's access uh, to that, so you can create a rope or you can create do not enter areas to prevent Hoover from uh, accessing it. After a couple of try the, uh, tries, the Hoover gave up and continued with the progress of uh, the clean job as usual. The last weak point of Xiaomi One S are doormats. Doormats by design are slightly higher than carpets, uh, which means the edges uh, activate the bumper and Xiaomi Hoover would struggle to actually get on the doormat itself. Now, if you're using a piece of carpet as a doormat or your doormat isn't very high, you might want to secure the doormat itself with like a double-sided tape to prevent it from moving. And that way, uh, the Hoover should be still able to access it and clean it. So, would I recommend Xiaomi One S? Oh, yes. Mostly because if you have a large floor space and you don't like hoovering, uh, this little baby will help you out a lot. Now you will be still uh, asked to do the proper hoovering probably once a month, maybe once every two months depending on your tolerance levels. Uh, but for the most part, all you have to do is run this hoover once, maybe twice a week depending on your needs uh, to get your carpet sorted. Now for me this is perfect because I work away quite a bit, I've set up a schedule and the hoovering is always done when I'm away, so when I get home I'm greeted with the clean floors, at least downstairs. So thanks again to Banggood for sending this uh, hoover to me. Now the Black Friday sale is almost there, so consider checking the links in the description of this video and you might strike a bargain uh, price on this device. As for this video, if you follow me, you probably know I do not have a posting schedule, so if you want to get notified, use YouTube tools to get notified, or follow me on social media uh, to get updates whenever I post something on my website as well. Thanks so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Take care.